welcome back in this video we will learn about what is post install script in salesforce so in the la last video i have given a gist of what is post install script so a post install script is used when you want to create uh, some uh, records in the org of the user who has installed your package or suppose you are have an apex class in your package and now you want to schedule that apex class once the package has been installed by the user so you can do this type of functionalities using a post install script so uh, we will do one thing we will uh, create custom setting records using a post install script so if we go to our org in which we have installed the package so custom settings and we will see state custom setting let's wait for it to open state and here you can see if i go to manage i will see zero records for this custom setting no records to display so let's do one thing let's uninstall this package and by the time it is getting uninstalled uh, we will write our post install script so that we will be able to uh, create custom setting record once the user has installed our package so let's go to our developer console here we will create one apex class and we will name it uh, let's name it custom setting installer let's close this component list 
function and in this we will write one method uh, so let's write the method and also here we have to use the annotation now static void test uh, name of the method so i want to test on installation and then after that uh, test dot start test and test dot stop test and in between this we will call the our apex class so let's write it let me just paste the code so it will not take much time and now custom setting installer and we have to call the only method which we have written so we have written the install method so we will uh, call it so on install and we will pass null let's save it and see if we are meeting the code coverage let's new run and let's run the test so for a custom setting installer test we have selected select all the uh, methods which we have added and click on run let's wait if we are getting failed exception let's see what's the exception and then we will required field missing name so we have not provided the name field so let's provide a name equals to abc and let's save now let's again run the test also we can run the test from here because we have only one test to run as you can see we are getting success and if we see the code coverage for that specific class it is 100% and also let's assert our statement system for that we have to uh, select the record of our custom setting so let's do that see setting equals to select id from this dot assert equals so we will be dot size and let's run the test so we are getting some error because for uh, custom settings we don't have the method so we can do one thing we can like uh, compare the names also so let's compare the name and then we will be able to pass the test and here we are expecting abc let's save it and see if i haven't give the space here so it is getting saved let's run the test as you can see we are getting it but there are some issues with the test let's see as subject row was retrieved via sql without querying the field so we haven't query the field so let's add it also let's run the test oh it's not saved i hope it's saved and you can see we are getting green tick that means the we are able to do that now let's go to our package and use this post install script so where is our package here it is our package and package manager we have to click on edit and also we have to add our apex class in the package it's taking time to load hello world and uh, first of all let's uh, let's add our class for that we have to search for apex class and we have created custom setting installer and its test class add to package so these are the classes which we have added now click on edit and we will select the post install script which we want to run once the 
creating the package and on the left side I have the org on which I am installing the package. Let's wait for it to get installed and then we will uh, like verify our co components. So let's refresh it. Also let's go to tabs and here on custom setting let's click on it. So install package we have hello world and also you can see for in the app exchange ready column it is saying not pass which means that this package has been has not been approved by salesforce and this is a beta package or an unmanaged package so you can see student tab is there let's click on let me search for it directly it's taking the sign setting is here let's click on it and if we go to manage we must see the record created so record abc is created and also the values are created so this is what we mean by post install script you can do anything using post install script like if you need to schedule an apex plus after a package consisting a schedule apex plus has been installed then it will be are done using a post install, post install script like you, you need to write the code here for scheduling that specific apex plus and it will get installed in the package and the apex plus will be scheduled or if you need to create some custom object records then it will be also possible using the post install script so that's it in this video we will learn about more concepts